The auxiliary power unit is essentially a turboshaft engine that drives one or two electrical generators and supplies pneumatic power to the aircraft. Now the amount of electrical power that it generates is not insignificant. So for example, on the Boeing 787, there are two generators, each capable of about 225 kVAs. So if, if we assumed um, a power factor of one, that means the generators on the APU can produce about 450 kilowatts of power on the on the 787. So it's a you know it's a significant power source, and this reduces the reliance on external ground power and permits the use of aircraft systems without the need for main engine power whilst the aircraft is on the ground. The control functions on the APU are designed to provide for uh, unattended uh, operation. So if we had you know, somebody doing a walk around uh, check, then you know, they can simply go in, turn the APU on on the aircraft and the lights and whatever else will come on. And they can walk around the, the aircraft um, and do the check and this can be left unattended. The APU is um, usually located in an unpressurized fireproof compartment uh, in the rear fus fuselage. I say usually, it can vary. The Boeing 727, for example, had the APU in the wheel well. Um, but you know, most of the time you'll see it here in, in, in the rear, rear fuselage. So this is an example um, of an APU. There it is in the detail section of the aircraft, and that's what it would look like. Okay, so the there is an air intake, so air will come in. Uh, it goes into the APU, so we'll have a, a compressor, and there'll be a combustion can, and there'll be a turbine, and then the air will go out through uh, out through the exhaust. So the uh, APU arrangement. Um, there can be two types uh, on, on this type. The uh, APU doesn't have a load compressor. So the air just comes in uh, to the engine. It goes through, um, sorry, air comes in to the engine, goes through the compressor. From the compressor goes to the combustor. So this is where the air is heated. And that hot air then goes out through the turbine and the turbine drives the compressor. And high pressure air from the compressor then goes to the pneumatic ducts in the aircraft. So this this is going to help um, maybe pressurize the aircraft or do a, a, an air start. The turbine also drives uh, the gearbox, and on the gearbox we'll have the the generators. Um, the APU can be started electrically, so we'd have a because it's, it's a small enough uh, engine. Uh, in comparison to, to the aircraft engines. So we can have a 28 volt DC starter. This would turn over the gearbox, which turns over the compressor. That gets air coming in, gets the fuel flowing, uh, and then we can have uh, ignition and, and the engine then start um, self-sustains. Okay, so this would be uh, one type of APU arrangement. The second type has a, a load compressor. So in this type, then the air comes in, it gets compressed into the combustor can, out through the turbine. The turbine drives the compressor, and it drives a load compressor. And the load compressor then supplies the pneumatic ducts in the aircraft. The turbine also then drives the gearbox, which goes on to the generators, uh, just like we saw on, on the previous slide. So APUs with, with load compressors are more fuel efficient. And this is because the airflow across the load compressor can be adapted to the aircraft's bleed air demands. So this is an example of an APU on the Airbus A320. And uh, we can see uh, that the uh, air comes in. It goes through the uh, compressor. Uh, from the compressor comes out into the uh, combustion can. Now this looks like a reverse flow. So it comes out of the combustion can, it goes through uh, the turbine. So this turbine then is driving the compressor. 
drives the compressor. And this turbine then, maybe I'll do that in a different color. This turbine then drives the load compressor and it drives the gearbox, which drives the generators. So with the load compressor then, as it's turning, we're getting air coming in, goes through, uh, goes through the compressor and then comes out. And this air then can be fed to the, uh, to the bleed air ducts. At all times, we have some uh, supervisory uh, system in place. So the control box is um, it's measuring, you know, temperatures and pressures and, and oil flows and, and, and so on. So that if there is a, a problem with the engine, uh, this can, can shut it down automatically. So some of the, the defects that it's uh, looking for are turbine overspeed, excessive EGT, loss of the EGT signal, and so on. Um, so you can pause that and, 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 and read it yourselves. Okay, so that's, um, that is an, an overview of APU systems.